Also developing tonight, more uncounted ballots found in Georgia as the president's legal team makes its case in Pennsylvania. Georgia's Secretary of State's office says more than 2,700 votes were found in Fayette County. That's in addition to the 2,600 uncounted ballots also found in Floyd County. They were discovered during an audit after Joe Biden was declared the winner in the state. News Nation correspondent Brian Netton live for us tonight in Rome, Georgia, with the details. Brian. Rob, thousands more uncounted votes discovered in Georgia just today. The Secretary of State says it won't be enough to change the outcome. Joe Biden will win Georgia. But you have a lot of Georgians tonight wondering how this could have happened. Why were these votes not discovered the first time and counted the first time around? An hour and a half outside Atlanta, the town of Rome in Floyd County has become the focus of the Georgia recount after 2,600 uncounted votes were found in a box. The situation in Floyd County is being addressed. They are working to pull their elections board together to allow for the rescanning of all of the early votes. We've come here to the Floyd County government building. This is where the elections office is. We want to ask about those thousands of uncounted votes. And it's interesting, the first thing you see on the window here is a message to the media saying they're not going to answer questions and they're still trying to get to the bottom of what happened here. Let's go inside. We took an elevator up to the second floor and found this very, very small room that looks more like a closet. Just a small little room, huh? It's tiny. Inside, the elections board continues to go through the thousands of votes one by one and rescan them into machines. The director of the board is quarantining because of COVID, so these volunteers are left to help scan the ballots. We messed up. The, this didn't go as planned, so we, we understand that we do need to take some responsibility for that, and we do do that. Melanie Conrad is one of the volunteer board members left to clean up the mess. She insists every vote will be counted. Do you know what caused the malfunction? Yes, to a degree. We know that um, one of the um, scanners malfunctioned halfway through, um, and so we replaced it with a new scanner. When we tried to take the, the data from the cards to upload it, it, it didn't upload correctly. The Georgia Secretary of State's office also says another 2,700 missing ballots were discovered about 90 miles south in Fayette County. The office says those votes were scanned, but a memory card was not properly uploaded. Also Tuesday, another controversy brewing, this one involving Senator Lindsey Graham and Georgia Secretary of State Brian Raffensperger. Raffensperger, a Republican, claimed that Graham called him and suggested he throw out legally cast ballots, but Senator Graham called that ridiculous and said the conversation was about verifying signatures. I'm not going to get into Senator Graham's mind. And I'm not going to get into Secretary Raffensperger's mind. I think they are both t discussing. I can see how both sides of that could potentially be correct, but I mean, the president's going to continue to fight. His supporters will continue to fight. Our job is to continue to follow the law. Here in Georgia, this recount is technically called an audit, and it is expected to be finished tomorrow night. Uh, the Secretary of State here again says they don't expect a change in the outcome, and they say Joe Biden will still win Georgia. Live in Rome, Georgia, Brian Enton, News Nation.